Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So what I'm going to be going over today is just the treatment that I'm going to be doing for my children's python Astrid because yesterday she actually ended up having to go into the vet. About a week and a half ago going on two weeks I found a lump on her side and I just felt it a little bit. It didn't seem to hurt her. It didn't feel like a tick or any type of parasite. The only thing I could really think of was that it was a cyst which I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of the lump right quick. But anyway, that's what that lump looked like, so I went ahead and sent that to my vet, who is specifically an exotic vet. I always recommend taking reptiles to exotic vets. I have made the mistake of taking my reptiles to a like normal vet and ended up coming out with no results, nothing improved, and I ended up having to take my reptiles back to the vet but the second time I did an exotic vet and that time I got positive results. But either way I sent that photo to my vet and we decided the best thing to do would just be to monitor it for a while. So I did, it didn't seem to get bigger but it also didn't get smaller, it wasn't hurting her or anything. But since it wasn't going away on its own I decided to make an appointment for her. And so we took her in yesterday, and it turns out that it was a cyst, and I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty proud of myself that I was correct that it was a cyst. But anyway, so what we did was we used a syringe with a needle and just punctured through it and drained all the fluid out of it. As far as injecting snakes, you always want to go between the scales, you never want to go directly through one, that can cause damage. But anyway, we drained the cyst out, luckily there was no infection, there was no bacteria, there was no blood. It was just a clear fluid, but we decided to scan the fluid anyway, however they do that just to be sure, and same results, no blood, no bacteria, no infection, nothing like that. So she went ahead and gave me some silver sulfadiazine cream, I want to say. It's better as far as getting through the skin and cleaning out infections and bacteria and just treating things like that, even though, again, we didn't find any infection, just to be sure and just to help it heal. So I'm going to be applying that cream to her, just to the remainder of that little bump, daily, along with giving her a bath in Betadine, which also helps with the like infection and cleaning things out, again, even though there was no infection, just to make sure that that puncture doesn't get infected. And Betadine you actually can buy over the counter, it's not a prescription, it's nothing like that. You can literally order it on Amazon, so it's something that I always recommend having on hand. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're doing as far as her treatment goes, because I haven't actually done that today, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we have her little bath container. It's a bit tight, but it is literally the only one I have that will fit her right now. So I do need to get a new container as far as bathing her and my rainbow boa. But we're just going to go ahead and set her in in warm water. Always do warm, never cold. But anyway, just going to set her in. You're okay. Watch your nose. And I will go ahead and add the betadine in a minute, but the reason I'm not doing it right away is because typically when you put reptiles in a bath, they do drink a little bit within the first few minutes and I don't want her drinking the betadine. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a few minutes and then I will add the betadine. This is the betadine, I guess in this case it says povidone iodine, but it's the same thing as betadine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few drops just until it's about the color of tea and then I will let her soak for about another 10 or 15 minutes before we do her cream medication. Okay, so just gonna keep her in and add a little bit of betadine. Mix it up. Definitely need to add a little bit more. Hard to tell what color it is with her in there. I think it's about dark enough. It's hard to tell on the black, but generally a few drops should should do it. And now we've got to get her back in and let her soak for ten minutes. Okay, so she's now done with her bath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out and just dry her off with a towel. Then we will put her medication on.
Okay, so there is still a little remainder of the bump right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get her head between my fingers. Not necessarily to keep her from biting me, I know she won't do that. But just to keep that little bit of tissue exposed while I put the uh, sulfur sulfadiazine cream, I want to say. So, there it is. I'm going to do that, that might have been a little too much, but oh well. Then we're just going to go ahead and give that a wipe. Like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and set her back in this container. Now it has a paper towel in it. And the reason I'm doing that is just to keep her from like wiping it all over her enclosure so that hopefully it'll actually soak in a bit. Okay, so she is back in here and I'm just going to let her sit for a few minutes. Really? She wiped it on her cheek. Oh well. Just to hopefully let it soak into that cyst, the puncture wound. And then in about probably 10 or 15 minutes, I'll take her out and put her back in her enclosure. And that wraps up today's video. So I hope you guys learned something new as far as cysts on reptiles. The bottom line of this video was just to make sure that you're always doing regular physical checks on your snakes. If I hadn't handled her and been doing a physical check, I probably wouldn't have noticed if I never got her out. But because I do get her out and handle her on a regular basis, I was able to notice it as soon as it popped up. So just always make sure you're doing physical checks and understand that reptiles do sometimes need veterinary care. Even though they don't need to go in for regular checkups or vaccines or anything like that. If there is a medical problem that you cannot treat at home, always go to, again, an exotic vet who specializes in exotics. It may be slightly more expensive, but it is completely worth it to get the proper care the first time and get things dealt with right away. But either way, I hope you guys learned something new and enjoyed the video. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.